Here's Stanley Roberts, who found some people behaving badly. They travel at speeds upwards to 70 miles per hour. It would take one more than a mile to come to a complete stop. And anything they hit is destroyed. Under California law, any vehicle that carries more than 10 people, including the driver, and is used for profit or nonprofit is considered a bus. The bus driver must stop and look both ways to make sure it's safe to cross. No closer than 15 feet from the nearest rail and no further than 50 feet away. Although for some reason, every time I test AC Transit drivers, they seem to fail, often horribly. Like this driver who basically just rolls through the crossing, not appearing to stop, look, or listen. Now to be frank, more bus drivers are stopping than I've seen in previous tests. But to pass my test, there needs to be 100% compliance. One failure could mean tragedy if a train hits even a partially loaded bus. I know for a fact that new bus drivers at AC Transit are shown previous segments of people behaving badly about the rules of rail crossings. So it looks like some of the drivers are just ignoring the rules yet again. And to be fair, it's not just AC Transit. This school bus with children on board failed to stop. And three out of four of these tour buses failed to meet the minimum requirements. If you're driving a bus, slowing down is not an option. All buses must come to a complete stop, and not just when there's a camera around. In Hayward, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.